A child abuse scandal that is shaking Penn State now has local investigators looking into Coach Jerry Sandusky's alleged actions. That's the former Penn State assistant coach who was here in San Antonio with the team back in 1999 for the Alamo Bowl. It's what he's alleged to have done during his stay here that's now getting the attention of police and prosecutors. Thanks for WOAI's Lauren Lee is live tonight with the latest on this. Lauren? Well, Beamer, San Antonio police are investigating if a crime occurred while Sandusky was here in 1999 for Penn State's trip to the Alamo Bowl. A Pennsylvania indictment outlines the shocking allegations against former Penn State assistant coach Jerry Sandusky. Eight different underage boys detail how Sandusky allegedly molested them over a 15-year period. But it's victim number four that San Antonio authorities are focusing on. Victim number four is now 27, but he met Sandusky through his nonprofit organization and was, quote, singled out at 12 or 13, according to the indictment. The document states he was repeatedly assaulted by Sandusky at Penn State, in hotels, and at bowl games. The boy was given gifts and trips to sporting events. According to the indictment, that boy was listed, along with Sandusky's wife, as a member of Sandusky's family party for the 1999 Alamo Bowl game when Penn State shut out Texas A&M. The indictment states, quote, Sandusky did threaten to send him home from the Alamo Bowl when victim number four resisted Sandusky's advances, end quote. That bowl game was his last game because Sandusky retired. I talked with an Alamo Bowl spokesperson today. He tells me Pennsylvania authorities have not been in contact with them and they don't know anything about these specific investigations or allegations, rather. I also found out that District Attorney Susan Reed had talked to Police Chief William McManus about the possibility of prosecuting Sandusky here if those allegations prove to be true. I also found out there's no statute of limitations for a child sexual abuse case like this. We're putting live downtown, Lauren. News 4 WOAI. All right, Lauren, thank you so much. And to read more about the Sandusky investigation, you can pick up tomorrow's San Antonio Express News.